Hey everyone, I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving for those of you who live in the States. I want to say that I'm grateful to all of you, my subscribers and viewers, and the thumbs up and the likes and all that stuff. Thank you so much. Uh, today I'm wearing the 8818s. Um, and uh, I got a call, all right, sorry, I got a text from my Red Wing uh, dealers. I love my Red Wing guys, they're fantastic. So I got a text with a photo saying, hey, I have these in. And I was like, yes! I want them! The Red Wing Lineman 2936. Look at these. Now, when I first saw this boot, it reminded me of a Tonga truck. I don't know how many of you remember Tonga trucks, but that's what I thought when I saw this boot. I was like, this boot is tough. This thing looks tough. <laughs> that was my thought. So this has, um, this is the Red Ring 2936 lineman made on the Maiz Albaline leather. Now I had not heard of this leather. Um, I'll take a closer look and show you and I'll compare it with other brown boots that I have to show how this brown leather matches up. So uh, let's take a closer look. Okay, this is the Red Wing 2936 lineman. Uh, we have the Goodyear welt, and it's made on the 8 last. Vibram lug sole. And this leather is Maiz Albaline leather. And um, I'll show you in comparison. So this is the other lineman that I have here. This is in Briar. And this is the Albaline. So we know the Briar kind of has a reddish. We already know that. Uh, versus any other of the browns, but I want to show you what uh, with the Iron Ranger um, Amber harness so you look at the amber harness brown and this brown on the maize Abilene leather So just to show you like this kind of has like a, a reddish uh, orangish kind of tint to it compared to the uh, Lineman here so just to show you how this is like a kind of like a true brown versus like this one here this is like a a true true brown so on this boot we have the double stitch no triple stitch and what i want to point out to you guys oh, no nickel eyelets and the machine gilt hooks like we have on the 2906 the same that I had um, pointed out before. And on the 9006 Beckmans, they have these really nice machined gilt hooks. Uh, I was going to say, so, oh right, so also, so this boot um, is a collab with Brooks Brothers. So this came out a while ago. Um, and you can only get this through um, Brooks Brothers. And I was fortunate enough to get a call from the Red Wing guys and bam, here it is in my hands. A lovely, lovely boot. Now I'm going to show you the inside with the other boot. Let's see who inspected these. Bobby. Thank you, Bobby, for making sure these linemen's are top-notch. And these boots were made in um, March 2012. So here's the inside. Let's see if we get some light in here. Inside of the boot. Leather and sole. And like the 877s, we have our little tab here to pull up the boots. Now the one thing I want to point out is if you look at the laces. So these laces, these tabs and laces, and these tabs and laces. So these are actual work laces, and these are the standard laces that come with any round toe or even um, some of the Iron Rangers. Um, and the mock toes but if you could tell let's see if i can get a close-up these are actually very different these are just standard these are work actual work laces and you can tell in the color you can tell the difference standard work this winter i plan on alternating between the linemen and the roughnecks using the uh, vibram lug sole so, there you have it. Let me give you a, a tour. Right. 
very handsome. Okay, let's do the on feet. So I put the lime in with the um, salvage denim pants first. And when I first went to Red Wing and tried them on the first time I was wearing salvage denim. So I knew when I brought them home, um, it would be a good match. And that's kind of what sold me on them. Because initially when I walked in, I wasn't 100% sold on the boot until I tried them on. And then I thought, they actually do work. I do like the way these look. And then I went with uh, a pant from Carhartt. It's a canvas pant, which I had been looking for for quite some time. Um, I had a canvas pant back, um, I don't know, maybe like 10 years ago. And um, somehow lost them or threw them out. And I finally replaced, um, found a replacement for them. And I really like these. Um, they fit really well. And they come in several colors, but this is the first color which I purchased, and I think I'll probably go back and get a black one and maybe one in navy. Um, it's the Carhartt Sid pant, if you're interested in the, the proper name. But um, they are one of my favorites. I like how the pockets, the pockets are really deep in there. Really cool. What I would say about this boot is that when you step in, it's really stiff initially because the Vibram sole, it's going to take some work to break in. Um, I do like it. I'm going to see how, once I break them in, if I should keep the Vibram sole because I really like the uh, crepe sole on the Briar lineman I have. And I could change these um, if I'm not really into it. I could put the um, I could put the traction tread sole on them, but we'll see how they um, break in first. I'll wear them all winter and um, break them in, get them nice and beat up, and then we'll go from there. Because I know they make them in black. I've seen them in black, and I've seen them in um, in hawthorn as well, which would be really nice to find. Uh, that would be oh, such an amazing grab if I can get them in hawthorn. But I have seen them in black, and I've seen them in. Um, black suede and I totally missed out on the black suede. I had them in my hands and totally skipped out on that That's unfortunate, but yeah, these will be great for this winter So that is the Red Wing Lyman 2936. Thank you so much for watching and remember be a boot. See you guys next time